Thank you very much, Dick. Yes. Hello, a politician. I want to ask you a political question. Today we are here. as different parties, and we have welcomed you very well, and you've seen it in most areas of this region. And today we can coexist peacefully, UDA and even Azimio. My question is, will you collaborate with Baba in 2027? <laughs> my second question, uh, yeah. my second question area, his Excellency, when the shipyard was being made, thousands of businesses were destroyed. Today, at this moment in time, if you walk around Akambalen, it is a dead town, and it, it, it is posing a security threat. Our question, can your government do a walling in that area and restore the 24-hour economy that was happening in that area. Thank you very much. Take a question from here. Thank you very much, Mr. President. My name is Sospita Ubungowich. I'm the famous president of the Sufuria Revolution Movement. You remember during the anti-government uh, demonstrations uh, about uh, the finance bill 2023-2024. It is me who was putting the sufuria on my head, who, who you are complaining about. <laughs> Today, I'm very glad, Mr. President, that we are welcoming you here in Kisumu and feel most welcome. We love you. We are, you are our brother. And we will always support you. Eler Kakapamba. <laughs> Mr. President, my question is political. We suffered the last two years because your deputy was telling us the government was for shareholders. With broad-based government, do you still appease the shareholders? Two, Mr. President, as young people, during the demonstrations in 2020, uh, during the demonstrations that was, was touching on the finance bill 2023-2024 and 2024-2025, most youths died during that process. Quite a number have been abducted and uh, their families can still not trace them. Quite a number are still suffering out of the injuries that they got through the police brutality. My question is this. What is your plan? Do you have any form of compensation to the families that suffered during the demonstrations? Because as, a, as the president of the Kenya Bungela Wananche Caucus, the leadership, that are, we, the, the, the face that represent the young people, we have always been talking very categorically and we are saying that we want your government to see to it that the young people that suffered during the demonstrations are well taken care of, and that is our request as young people. And lastly, as I finish, Your Excellency, we want to thank you very much for embracing, uh, for embracing broad-based broad government and for agreeing to work together with our party leader, His Excellency Raila Molodinga, and supporting his bid for AUC. That we are saying that we are very happy about that. On the side of the broad-based, we are happy that you considered our people, though the Lewis did not vote for you, but you considered our people and gave them very important positions in your government. Here in Kisumu, kindly consider us because we don't have anything good as people of Kisumu. And on the Bunge Launainchi, kindly consider the Bunge Launainchi because we also suffer and we also, we also exist in part of the struggle. Your Excellency, I'm jobless. Consider me. Thank you very much. Catherine Ocheng has said, uh, I've talked about 2027. She said she's a politician, 
that's very good. I am also one. And she says, she's asking me, what is going to happen in 2027? I want to tell Catherine, I am more concerned about what is happening or what will happen to our next generation. 2027 will sort itself out. I want to tell you that uh, the mistake sometimes we make as politicians is always to focus at the next general election. Of course, the next general election is important. But I want to tell you that if we are consumed merely focusing about the next general election, we will never make the right decisions. We must be bold enough to make the right decisions because sometimes the right decisions are not very popular. And you know, when the right decisions are not popular, you are forced to make the wrong decisions merely because you are concerned about the next election. And that is how we have never made the decisions to change our country. By the way, I intend to make the difficult decision to change Kenya. That is my focus. <laughs> Even the forming of the broad-based government, many people did not expect me to do that. But I did it because I know for us to be able to implement the most critical decisions that will change Kenya, we need a broader political formation. It is important that we sacrifice some space for us to have a, bigger, a, a broader foundation for us to be able to do the heavy lifting that will make Kenya progress. I am very clear that 2027 is going to sort itself out. Just watch this space. <laughs> On the shipyard, I, have, um, I don't have a direct answer on what to do with the shipyard. I have taken the information you have told me. I will have a conversation with the county government so that we know exactly what to do around the shipyard. Um, I do not have the uh, real information now as to what actually became of the 24-hour economy around the shipyard. I know for, uh, for a fact that the shipyard is an important uh, component of the development of Kisumu as a town, but that should not compromise on the incomes of Kenyans who are benefiting from the space around there. So that is homework for me, uh, Catherine. I hope you don't mind. I can go and do some homework. Yeah? Sawa, sawa. And then, uh, so, Peter, are you a shareholder? Eh? <laughs> Let me tell you, Sir Peter, that we all agreed yeah, that um, we are all shareholders of this country, each and every one of us. Every Kenyan has a right. Every taxpayer has a right. And I want to promise you that um, we have agreed all of us, that we must get rid of the politics of ethnicity, the politics of exclusion, the politics that, that creates divisions among us, and that is why I took the earliest opportunity to create a broad-based government, because I believe in the unity of Kenya, and I believe every Kenyan, whether they voted for me or did not vote for me, not only deserves development, but they can also get a position in my government. <laughs> if it was strictly the people who voted for me, you know the situation would be different. So I just want to give you assurance, you need to relax. There will be no exclusion on account of how you voted. We are going to move together as a, as a, as a country. <clears throat> On the people who demonstrated, you have told me that there are people who were abducted. My good friend, Sos Peter, I made a commitment to the people of Kenya, and I want to look you in the face, 
that under my administration, I do not want a situation where a Kenyan disappears. There were days when people were found 2030 in the Viala here, executed. I want to promise you and to promise the people of Kenya that under my administration, there will be no Kenyans in Rivayala or any other river or in any other place. If, my good friend Sospita, and I am here, if there is a family, any family, that their child or their friend or their relative went to a demonstration, whether it is last year or this year, and never came back, I want to know the names because I will take firm and decisive action. Because as I talk to you today, I don't have a single name of somebody who has been abducted or disappeared. And the Minister for Interior, the, the PS for Interior is here, Raymond. If so, Peter, Kama uko na jina, mutu alienda maandamano, akapotea, hajulika ni mahali yuko, Tunataka jina yake, familia yake wakuje, patia huyu mungwana hiyo majina, we will deal with that situation. Because Kenyans have a right and freedom of association, right? Within the parameters of the law. And no Kenyan should be subjected to any inhuman um, treatment because of their political persuasion. Um, the other subject you have said is, uh, what are we going to do with those uh, who, are, who are injured? Again, we are developing a framework because I made a commitment to the people of Kenya that we are going to consider uh, those who went through, especially the people who died in the demonstrations, how we are going to support their families to make sure that these people are attended to. Again, we are working, the Ministry of Interior is working. My, you know, I assembled the government the other day. They are working on the numbers, and we will see how we are going to work together on that problem.